Yehya. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when you're translating Yehya, the things, the things that I've seen you were saying are, are very short mm -hmm. and um, sort of epigrammatic, aren't they? You, right. you quoted that Nietzsche one to me. Mm -hmm. What, Nietzsche died and what was it? Uh, Friedrich Nietzsche died in 1900. Friedrich Nietzsche died in 1900. But God still lives. God still lives. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. sort of like, so you're getting quite, quite short things. And I think there is, there is a tradition of. Uh, um, you sort of irony just to yes, look at the world. Uh, irony. Mm -hmm. and, and also, sort of seen some of the, you know, like old Arabic, Arabic poems, you get mm -hmm. very short things that, that are like epigrams, you know, like um, wisdom. Mm -hmm. you know, wisdom and shrine kind of. And then I think you get this other thing which seems to be very much from, from an oral tradition that's kind of rhetorical and kind of rolling. Um, and it's quite hard in translation to pin down. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what you want to do. You want to, you want to keep that rhetorical sort of sense mm -hmm. while making the poem sort of make, make sense to, to you and to an audience. I've got another one for you. Okay. And that's no, hard. Is that, is that not when it would work with trying to do it in Scots? Like the way that it sounds, working with that? To keep it oral? Yeah. It would have to be the right poem for it. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to be, it doesn't have to be in, yeah. in Scots. I mean, you know, there's a... Scots is a literary tradition as well as an oral, I mean, a written tradition as well as a, an oral tradition. But there, there is some, there is, yes, I think you're, you're, you're right in that it's something, and that's actually what's hard about it because it's capturing the voice. Because if you get something that's an oral tradition, that's rhetorical, mm -hmm. it's all in the voice. And we don't know what the voice is. That's the. That's the problem, isn't it? Right. We don't really know the sounds and the voice, and um, yeah. that's why sometimes it's, you know it helps if you hear, if you're to hear how somebody was to deliver it. You know, if we heard, and we will hear, how Rasha delivers the poem, you know, we'll get a sense of um, the sound of it and how important the sound is to her. Yeah.